Hi everybody, Alex Deplor here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be talking about buying low and selling high, the key to trading success. And I'm going to show you four methods that guarantee your success in this particular area. So the first technique is the standard deviation channel technique. And the standard deviation channel technique uses past history to determine the range that a currency will trade. And then what it does is it cal calculates the average of all of the trading, all the price action during that period. And then it calculates three deviations upwards and three deviations downwards which is going to be the area that the currency trades under. So th they determine the playing field for the currency based on the last year or two history. So what do you then do? You have this average line in the beginning. There, there you see it. And then what you do is you trade only when the price reaches one of the deviation lines. You'll see there are three deviation lines. The odds of each deviation line uh, of the price reaching each de deviation line is different. But you only trade sales back to the average because the average by definition is, is the average movement of the price range. And therefore, you always trade back to the average. And by doing that, you are selling high and buying low. It, it, that's one of the techniques that get you to buy low and sell high. And it also shows you that, let's say you get it wrong, like there, there you got it right there. It didn't go, but it went on. So it also tells you what to do with it when it goes on. When, you go, when it goes on, all you do is you double up on your lot sizing. If you've traded one lot there, you trade two there, and then uh, the price doesn't have to come all the way back to the average. You can actually get out at a good profit based on the profits of both of those transactions. So I'm not going to repeat everything that has been discussed in this particular video. Please go and watch it. Fantastic technique. We are launching a new EA, the Bell EA, and the Bell EA is based on this technique. Very fantastic results we're getting from the Bell EA. Then let's look at another one, which is more or less a, a manual technique, which is uh, uh, channeling. And what all you need for a channel are turning points. So you've got one turning point there, one turning point there, one turning point there. Once you've got three turning points, you, you can actually draw a trend line over the two and then draw a parallel line using that the, the second turning point as your anchor. And then you create a channel. Then the third leg becomes predictable because you're heading for that fourth bouncing point. And once you reach a fourth bouncing point, the fifth bouncing point becomes predictable. Then once you've reached that point, the sixth bouncing point becomes predictable and so on. So that's how channel trading works. Fantastic technique. But what it does, if you look at this, is you're selling, you buying low and you're selling high. You buying low and you selling high. I do have a free course on this, and here is a video that I make made recently about the channel trading course. Fantastic course! You can go and have a look at it. And this is more or less what it looks like. There are, uh, eight, in fact, eight models. And the eighth one isn't shown in this particular slide. And by watching that previous video that I showed you, you can get the link to this course. It's a free course. Go and do it. And you'll be amazed at how much accuracy there are there is behind channel trading because channels don't last forever. But the course actually deals with how to identify a channel that's going to break out or going to misbehave. OK, so now we've seen two ways where you can sell high and buy low. So let's have a look at another one. And the next method is the MACD indicator. Now, the MACD indicator is actually a fantastic indicator. Most corporate traders use the MACD indicator because of its power. And here we see some price action going on here. And you can see how the MACD works is it actually calculates the difference between two two, e, uh, two uh, moving averages. And as the moving average differences change and cross over, that is a trading uh, 
a trading signal and as you can see on this chart how accurate that trading signal is so you would trade when the graph crosses over that moving average there and that that is a signal then you go here and it moves over again signal down there signal down there high signal down there signal down there and so on so here you can see it in action selling high buying low selling high buying low another fantastic technique to um, trade the market using this philosophy now thank goodness this has been automated so we have an ea that's called the trader macd a fantastic ea is very profitable it's ideal for us traders because you're only in one trade uh, and and there's no fifo and hedging and all kinds of other things that are even uh, leverage doesn't play a major role because you're only trading one transaction at a time really fantastic uh, ea go and have a look at this video for more details then the fourth method is the rsi it is my personal favorite indicator and uh, it is slightly different to the macd in that uh, what how i use it is i use trend line violations so you'll you draw uh, trend lines over the turning points on the indicator and they give you fantastic turning points now have a look at that one identified there and then again trend line over there right at the start of that that trend that was there so that's another way of finding turning points in the market another way of selling high and buying low and again we've created a robot that trades this for you it's the tradable rsi you set it up and it will trade automatically for you it is the bell trading robot that we will be launching pretty soon it uses the standard deviation channel that i mentioned earlier in the video and how this one trades is it doesn't trade near the average there are the three uh, standard deviation lines over there so what when the price gets to one of those a, a trade is open to trade from that touch to the moving average line and the, if it goes further the same thing happens it, when it touches that line you trade to the moving average line and so on the big thing here is that it has statistically and, uh, and based on probability calculated the chances of the price reaching these various lines and there's only a half a percent chance that the price will re reach these outer lines now that's quite a small percentage so when you're trading from there to there you have the odds stacked in your favor and that's the whole basis of this trading um, there's only a five percent chance that the the price will reach that line so all the price action actually happens there and your chances of success increase dramatically as the price is moving away from the moving average and that's the whole basis of how the bell trader works works fantastically because it's on a sound basis and then our final bonus technique uh, which is a, a technique which i mentioned in this particular uh, video i'm not going to repeat it in detail but essentially it uses volume to determine turning points and in this case it is a hundred percent successful using volume so if you haven't watched this video before go and watch it and go and try this volume technique it is um, the most accurate and most meaningful technique that you could use for determining turning points so the most often asked question is what if the turning point turns into a trend and the answer is very very simple all you do is you use stops if you don't if you don't have that confidence you use stops or you use the profit retrieval method so what the profit retrieval method uses is what it would do is let's say the price moves over there you enter a sell back to the moving average but it moves on to there what it does is you say it enters another sell back to the moving average but this time it, if you've entered one lot there you might and i'm not saying this is the, the the amount that you'd use you might use two lots so that by the time the price moves back to the previous 
deviation line, you will have made a nice big profit on both those transactions and they can be closed nice and profitably. Same thing if it then moves on to the third line. Remember the odds of it reaching that line are very low, but let's say it does, you just enter three lots. So that then by the time the price moves back to the next deviation line or even further, you have made a big profit on those three transactions and that's what is called the profit retrieval basis so you can either use stops or use the profit retrieval basis but you can get pretty close to achieving very high success rates and very high profitability so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope i've given you some ideas about catching those turning points nice and early so that you can sell high and buy low now, what's left for you to do is to go and test these methods that I've shown you. And remember, links to anything mentioned in this video will be in the description of the video as well as in the first commentary of the video. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.